This could be an absolute no-brainer for you. Let me start this video by confirming that I'm a massive Apple fanboy and Apple sheep, etc., etc., because I love the iPad. That's not because, but I, I basically, I love the iPad. Ever since the iPad came out in 2010, when it was just a great big iPhone, and yes, some people still kind of moan and complain that's the case. I get that completely. But ever since it first came out all those years ago, which is nearly 14 years ago, I've had one. So whenever an Android tablet hits this desk, like the OnePlus Pad 2, it's got a massive job on its hands because it has to prove to me, that the, this, this will sound really weird, that the iPad has competition. And this year, on several occasions, that has happened. But the latest tablet to hit my desk, which is of the Android world, is the OnePlus Pad 2. And without beating around the bush, it is fantastic. That's for several reasons, which I'll get onto in a second. But first, a very quick word from today's sponsor, which is Roboform. And Roboform is basically a password manager. If you're still storing your passwords on post-it notes or in your head or in a spreadsheet somewhere, you need a password manager. And you can think of Roboform like your digital personal assistant. Anything digital that you don't want to get into the wrong hands, you put into Roboform and you can trust that it's safe. And that's because they have a no breach history. It's also compatible across all devices. So Windows, Android, iOS, iPad, everything, Mac as well. If you've got several different devices that run different operating systems, you need a password manager like Roboform because it's cross-platform. And it has a one-click login feature, which does exactly what it says on the tin. You just go into your favorite website or that web app that you use all the time, you hit the button once and it logs you in. Bang, done, finished no hassles. You can also share login details with friends and family very securely. And there's an emergency access feature, which if the worst should happen and you can't for whatever reason get into your passwords, you can give that access to someone that you trust and they can get in for you. And if anything goes wrong with your Roboform setup, although in my experience that just doesn't happen, but if it does, they have 24 seven support. But the best news is I've worked with Roboform to get you a massive discount, which makes it even more of a no brainer. Go and check out that link and see it for yourself. Let's go through the specs and the pricing for the OnePlus Pad 2. Firstly, it's running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, which is the latest Snapdragon at the time of filming, and that's quite impressive for the price, which I'll come on to in a moment. It also has 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, both of which are fixed. There's no other options beyond that. Same thing with the color. This is Nimbus gray, which is a very nice gray, but it's the only color you can choose at the moment. I'm not sure if we'll get more in the future, but it's quite a simple thing to buy based on the fact there's just one of them. Inside there's a 9,510 milliamp hour battery with 67 watt super fast charging, and that promises up to 12 hours of video playback. The display is 3K, it's 12.1 inches, it has 303 PPI, an adaptive refresh rate of 144 hertz, Dolby Vision support, and up to 900 nits of peak brightness. If you're the sort of person to take photos with your tablet, I'm not judging you by the way if you do, the rear camera is 13 megapixels and the front camera is 8 megapixels. In terms of biometrics, we have face unlocking and it's running Oxygen OS 14, which is based on Android 14. The price, £499 in the UK, which is very competitive. And at the time of filming, there's a deal to be had as well. So that's worth bearing in mind. There's also two accessories to talk about. The first one is the Stylo, which is the OnePlus well, stylus, obviously. And the second one is the, I nearly said magic keyboard. It's not a magic keyboard. It's the two piece smart keyboard from OnePlus. These are both official accessories, obviously. The smart keyboard is £149 and the Stylo 2 is £99. Although again, at the time of filming, there is a deal to be had. I think you can get one of those completely free of charge when you pre-order this. So the total package price, if you paid full price for all of this stuff, would be £747. I'll come on to how that compares with the iPad later. But first, let's talk about everything that matters with the Pad 2. Let's talk about the design. And I don't envy tablet designers these days because it's just a great big slab of glass and metal. What more can you do with it apart from that? Well, this does look different. And that's the key thing. 
I think when you're designing an Android tablet, it just needs to look different to the iPad because the iPad is so ubiquitous. And if you look at this and think, where's the Apple logo? Why is the camera bump there? What's going on? That's interesting. It catches your eye. And I think OnePlus has done a very good job with that. So we have the OnePlus logo, which isn't too overbearing. It's just nice and, and there basically. And it is that camera bump that is so distinctive. It's placed completely differently to a lot of tablets. And it, the whole thing just looks nice. And it's clearly not an iPad. Then we have the display, which let me give it a very quick wipe because just like every display, it picks up fingerprints. It's wonderful. And again, we have reached that point with tablets now, a little bit like smartphones, where it's very difficult to buy a tablet with a rubbish display unless you spend 150 quid on it. But if you're spending three, four, 500 plus pounds on a tablet, you should expect quite rightly a top notch display and OnePlus does not disappoint. It's bright enough. 900 nits of peak brightness is enough for most people. Okay, it's not the 2000 nits of an iPad Pro or whatever the iPad Pro is, but you don't need that because you just don't need it. So I think the key thing with this display is that it's tempting me to use this as my main media consumption device when I'm traveling because, okay, I've got an iPad, I get that, and this is a bit of a weird thing, but I don't tend to use the iPad that much for consuming stuff. It also has stereo speakers, which use something called the Omni Bearing Sound Field, which is a little bit like Dolby Atmos, so it envelopes you in the sound. That said, you're probably gonna use a pair of earbuds with it. These, by the way, are the OnePlus Buds 3 Pro, and they are absolutely fantastic, 79 quid crazy really really good earbuds but yeah that that works very that that kind of omni bearing sound thing works okay with it it's just a great media consumption device but that isn't all it can do and that's because it's running the snapdragon 8 gen 3 chip which is the latest snapdragon it's the the flagship mobile snapdragon chip in a tablet which is so much cheaper than an iPad Pro. You know, the, the, the equivalent iPad Pro, which we'll come on to again in a moment, is a lot more expensive than this. And to get the flagship Snapdragon chip in this is, it makes it a total no-brainer. 12 gigabytes of RAM is enough for pretty much everyone. It would be nice to have a bit more storage on hand internally, but don't forget, you can just plug a pen drive in there and you know, load stuff off that if you need to. Again, for the price, the performance of this is it's very, very surprising. Oxygen OS is fantastic as well. It's a very considerate dusting and slight tweaking of Android 14. OnePlus are very good at this. It looks like Android 14, it feels like it, but they've added a few little touches touches here and there. One of the biggest things they've done is introduce split view multitasking, which is where you can have three apps side by side. By default, you only see two of those apps. And then the third one is just slightly hidden off to the left or right. I like the smart sidebar as well. This is something you can drag in from the right hand side. You can customize it so you can add lots of different apps to it if you want to. But the key thing is, and the thing that I like about it, is that when you open an app from the smart sidebar, it opens in windowed form. So you can basically move it around, you can resize it, and it doesn't snap to any kind of rigid grid either. These are proper, almost you know, Mac slash Windows-like windows that you can move around freely. And again, if you're an iPad user, this is quite refreshing. And yes, there is AI stuff built into this. So we have web summaries, writing assistance, and audio transcription from recordings all of which I haven't really tested. I have just read them off this list here because AI, it's just becoming standard now. It's just the, the kind of thing that you build into these tablets. And I can't get that excited about it, but OnePlus are right to put it into the pad too. But let's get onto those accessories. Let's start with the smart keyboard, which comes in two different pieces. The first piece basically magnetizes onto the back of the pad too and it's very very secure which is good it also has a kickstand as you can see and the keyboard is detachable obviously and the nice thing about that is that it works detached so while it's like this this is still active that isn't always the case with certain detachable keyboard cases but it's a very nice thing because it means if, you, if you're in a position where you want to put your tablet over there and still type on it from here you can do that that's very nice Again, very strong magnets, which is great. And lots of tiltability thanks to that kickstand. So we can go very low if we want to, or we can bring it up nice and nice and tight like that. And yes, it does work on your lap 
perfectly. So no problems there whatsoever. The keyboard itself sounds great. It feels great to type on. It's not backlit, which is a bit of a shame, but again, given the price, we can't really complain. The trackpad is massive. You can click anywhere on it. It doesn't really get in the way, even though it's very big. Great stuff. Stylo 2 is basically OnePlus's version of the Apple Pencil, obviously, and it's great. Again, 99 quid. You cannot complain at that. The design's very nice. It's got this kind of textured surface, which means it's very grippable. It's got up to 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. It feels very, very similar to the Apple Pencil. It's just as responsive. It has pressure sensitivity, as I, as I just mentioned, and it's just a joy to use. It's great. And obviously it charges very happily on the top of your Pad 2. I thought about this quite a bit, and I don't think it's fair to compare the OnePlus Pad 2 against the iPad Pro because they are such different devices. However, you can definitely compare the Pad 2 against the M2 11 inch iPad Air. And starting with price, the iPad Air, the 256 gig version, which is the same size as this, is 699. The Apple Pencil Pro is 129 pounds. The Magic Keyboard is 299 pounds, which means the total package price for the similarly specced iPad Air is 1,000 127 pounds. That's about 380 quid more than this if you pay full price for all of this stuff, which at the moment you probably won't. This comes down to one very simple thing. Are you an Apple sheep? Are you an Apple fanboy, fangirl? Are, are you someone who, like me, will just go for the iPad straight away because it's the most obvious choice and because of the ecosystem and yada, yada, yada? If that's you, then the iPad Air probably makes sense because you're not going to be swayed any other way. For any other person who doesn't have that affinity with Apple, who doesn't consider themselves to be an Apple fan person, this is possibly the perfect tablet. So what I want to know in the comments is, are you the sort of person who will just go blindly for the iPad without considering anything else? If that's you, go on, admit it. Let me know in the comments. Equally, if you're the sort of person who is very tempted by this, let me know. What is it about this tablet that is tempting you? Is it the price? Is it the specs? Is it the fact it's OnePlus? Are you a big OnePlus fan? They have a huge fan base after all. Let me know. And if you want to see what I think about iPadOS 18, which I've recently installed on here, the public beta version, keep watching for a link to a video, which I think you'll find very interesting.